All right. First of all, please excuse the facial hair. Some of my friends are insisting that I grow it out <laughs> just to see how it looks. Anyway, here is an age-old question for me. Does Matt get offended by anything? And the answer is yes. There are actually things that offend me. Well, it, okay, here's the thing. It's actually kind of hard to differentiate because there are things that bother me, but they don't necessarily offend me. Like, for example, SJWs bother me, right? People who don't rely on facts bother me, but those people don't offend me, right? They bother me, they piss me off, they make me sad, but I don't feel offended by that. <laughs> so I don't really know how to differentiate the things that I'm just bothered by or if I am actually offended by these things, but regardless, um, I'll just tell you things, and if I know for a fact that I'm offended by them, I'll just point it out. So the first thing is a certain type of joke. Yes, I know it's, that's, that, that'll be a shock that there's actually a joke that can bother me or offend me. <laughs> um, and there's only one. There's only one type of joke that actually gets to me. I hate any joke that attacks somebody on a personal level for things that can't be changed. Those jokes, I feel, always are just completely unfair and unreasonable. I do believe that everybody should be made fun of, right? Everybody should be made fun of. But if you have something about you or in your life that you have no control over, and that thing hinders your ability to live life like anybody else, those jokes bother me because they're just simply not fair. It literally singles out the people who can't do certain things. Like, and again, it has to follow those two criteria. One, it has to be something that you have no control over, and if it actually actively ruins your life or makes your life more difficult, those are the, that is when I don't like the joke. So, for example, say somebody is missing an arm and they can't, like, grab at things, or people who are born with, like, um like issues where like their arm where like they where they have like a hand stuck to their shoulder and they don't have like an actual arm right you, you got people born with deformities that you know jokes about that are too much a person who is missing a leg or whatever or has no legs and has to use a wheelchair or certain types of things somebody who is blind somebody who has like some just kind of really awful condition right those kind of jokes i hate those because they are just like literally hitting at people who are already suffering, and I really don't like those kinds of jokes. Um, and in the same merit, now obviously, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to say is not a disability, <laughs> but it is something that can't be c controlled. For example, I hate jokes that insult men for either being too short or, too, or, or having a small dick. Like, those kind of jokes also bother me because people, people, make, fun of thing, people, people make fun of men for those things, right? But... Men have no control over their height or dick size, and it's not fair. It's something that men are extremely insecure about. It also literally hinders their ability to date women who might want a guy who's taller or bigger. And it actually actively affects men's lives, right? It, it affects our self-esteem, confidence. Men kill themselves over it. So no, I don't think you know that's fair. And again, like I was saying, it's any joke that hinders a person's ability to live life. So when it comes to disabilities, if it, if, it, if, it, if it's something about you that hinders your ability to drive a car, work a job, find a partner and date, fall in love, those are the jokes that I genuinely really feel bothered by. And again, the thing about men is not a disability, but it is still a disadvantage, which I don't think is ever fair to make fun of. The second thing would be um, dogs. I love dogs with a passion. I believe that dogs are better than human beings because they are and um now granted i'm okay with dog jokes in general for the most part but when the jokes are about my dog i remember you guys you guys remember winston when he died in 2018 a couple of my friends were like oh can i can i make a joke about it and i was like sure like I, like, I, like the thing is i'm never gonna say no right i'll, I'll always let people make jokes even if they bother me because i'm not a fucking idiot but but the thing is, when they do make the joke, my reaction might, instead of laughing like I always do, the joke, my reaction might be something like, you're such an idiot. So, like, I'll give them a little bit of a chuckle, like, because maybe the joke was clever, for example, and I won't necessarily be offended, per se. Maybe I would be to a small extent. 
but my reaction would be like you're a, you, like you're a dumbass for saying that or something like that so that is the second thing kind of this next thing is not something that i'm offended by but i'm definitely bothered by it um in the same merit that i am bothered by sjw's for not paying attention to facts about the real world i'm also bothered when people don't listen to what i say whether if I'm talking to them directly and, they, they're, and they're just not fucking listening because they don't care what I'm saying, or if it's a YouTube video that people are not paying proper attention to or they're putting words in my mouth, that shit really bothers me and it happens all the time. <laughs> all the time. It happens in regular conversation with like people I know in real life where I will literally say something and they will deliberately ignore it, move on to something else, or even take credit for what I say and I'm just like, you fucking asshole. Like, I, like, I know people who will ignore when I say something and then like and then like months later or years later say the very same thing that I said and then pretend as if they had just heard it for the first time or that I never said it at all. And I'll even say like, yo, I told you that like two years ago and they'll be like, no you didn't. And I'm like, you motherfucker. That really bothers me. And again, YouTube videos, people who will watch the videos and just not listen to what I'm saying or people who don't watch them at all and then just assume what I'm saying. That shit bothers me a lot. <laughs> um, in a similar merit, I hate when people base one of their beliefs or opinions on, on only their own experiences, or even worse, one experience. For example, this happens in videos a lot too, and in real life. I will literally be talking about something that is a factual thing, statistically proven across like the majority of people, because you know, majority rules, that's literally what a fact is. And then I'll have a person often say to me things like, well, I don't, I, I don't agree because I have this friend who did, who, who, who did it like this. And I'm like, you have this one friend? You're, you're disagreeing with me <laughs> because you know somebody or even a couple people who did it or saw it a different way. In what universe does your personal experience, especially when it's like one or two people, outshine what the fuck I'm saying. Because <laughs> I have never made a statement that was based on my own experience, or only my own experience, or based on like one or two or three people, whether it be like myself or a couple friends here and there or some random guy I knew. I don't do that shit because that's fucking dumb. But I find that most people actually do this, where they will literally disagree with something that, that they've heard that's factual, and, they, and their response will be, well, I don't agree because I had this one friend who did it like this. And I'm like... Yeah, because that, yes, because that, that's factual. <laughs> I just hate when people use um, either personal experience or like one or two experiences or one or two people they know to discredit a literal fucking fact. It's, that irritates me so much. And finally, one thing I really hate, and again, I'm not offended by this, it's just something that I really hate doing. I hate repeating myself. In fact, some of you don't know, but part of the reason why I even made YouTube videos in the first place, well, there was actually two core reasons. Number one, because anytime somebody would argue with me or would tell me that I didn't say something that I obviously did say, I wanted proof. So the idea was, actually, I did say that, you fucking liar, and it's on a YouTube video, motherfucker, so go and watch it. And then, the, and then, and then of course, that strategy didn't work because when I would say to people, go and watch the video for the evidence, they go, oh, I'm not going to watch it. I'm just going to keep insisting that you were wrong or didn't say it. So fuck the human race for that. But regardless... That was one of the core purposes of my videos, was to use it as evidence for things that I've said in the past, so I could prove myself. <laughs> and the second core reason was because I hate repeating myself. I hate repeating myself so much. So, when a person does ask me a question like five times in a row, or ask me one question, I answer it, and then a couple years later they forget what I said and ask me again, I can just go, look, I, I, I have a YouTube video on it, here's the link. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more things out there that would offend me or bother me, but these are the only things that I was able to think of. I can't really think of anything else, to be honest. But yes, people are probably going to use this to their advantage to bother me more, but what else is new? <laughs> Regardless, those are the things I was able to think of that do actually offend me or bother me. All right, there you go.